Hello and welcome to my new let's play of Puddle Story Smell. I just got the game, it just got released like yesterday or today, I don't know. I have to be a little bit quiet, it, it's yeah, it's my first let's play ever, so yay. I'm playing late at night and have to be a little bit quiet. It's just gonna be for the first episode, so because I just can't wait to start this game. So yeah, welcome to my new let's play channel. I've planned this for a while now, but I didn't know a game to start with, but now this got released, I know what to play. So yeah, let's start with new game. Chapter 1, of course I didn't play it. So yeah, let's get started. Good, my microphone's on for a moment, it was right there. Oh, it's a loading. So sometimes I'm an app just signed in later. I saw like a trailer for this a few... Like yes, last year, <coughs> and followed the theme, and now it got released, and now I can play it. So that's awesome. Portal story smell. This looks great already. Yeah, and if it really is noticeable that, my, that I have to speak a bit quiet in the second episode, it's not gonna be that way. It's just being recording late right at night, and I don't want to wake anyone up. Yay, Kev Johnson. And I have to. Sorry, everyone. So I can make the subtitles to English. Okay, then I um, guess I'm not gonna make subtitles at all. Okay. Sorry for people who want to read subtitles, but I guess you pl already played the game if you're watching this. Or you can hear the things it's saying, so. Okay, back. Done. Greetings, astronaut, war hero, and, well, yeah. Definitely the early after. Start out like Half Life a bit. Ooh. Thank you. I'm all cave. Oh, so it's pretty much the backstory from Aperture Science till 1950 something. I forgot. Which brought you here. Yeah, it brought me here. Of what? Oh, okay. Great. Cave. Yeah, that's what was like. This does the lower thing, even. I wonder who I am. I think I'm Mel. Auto train. Oh, it's a pre recorded message. <laughs> right. What nice music. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's how the game starts out. It starts out a bit like half life, that's cool. I think that's the reference. I think that's supposed to be the reference. <laughs> uh, so yeah, apparently it takes back place back in old Aperture in like 1950 something. We didn't really pay much attention when it showed on screen. I think it was 1953 or something. What? Um. Oh. He fired hard. <laughs> oh. Oh, he can't re record these things. Wow. <laughs> so, is this the station where you can get out of the train or. No, it's just a cut scene. Ah, that was just a scene to the entrance. This is just for like 20 minutes or so, that's gonna be the first part. I just want to get a look into this game. And don't worry, in the next few parts I'm gonna talk. More well, loudly if that's noticeable. If it's very noticeable. Ooh. Extra cola. Oh, 
to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Yeah. We are showing. Three days. Uh, sorry. Not very really showing. Yep. Am I supposed to go talk to you? No, he's sleeping. Okay. Where sh am I supposed to go? Toilets aren't an option. Man, this looks beautiful. Way better than Aperture Tech. And they didn't even charge money for it this time. That's cool. Oh, so I guess we're outside. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we yeah. love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Yay! It's entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <laughs> that's what we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. It's great. Also, even designed the interiors of rooms that you're never gonna get into. Okay, one room. Pretty much nothing else. So, this is the outside of Aperture Science in the 1950s. Aperture Science Innovators, East 1947. Or was it 94? I, I've completely missed the time, sorry, I'm gonna regret it later. Old cars, blah blah blah, push aside the invaders, looks great. Moon. <laughs> no, that was gonna happen there at the end of Portal 2. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to go here. Yeah, I have to go here. Cave? Yeah. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than. Uh, any test subjects on record? <coughs> yeah. Uh, that's not good. <coughs> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna go forward. Caroline. <laughs> cool. Future Gladys. I'm deleted by Gladys. Hmm. So on how that worked. Science spheres. All the old. Aperture Science Portal device. It looks great here. This is a, the design of this game is beautiful. I must say. I already love it. I was supposed to go wide, but I'm not going right here anyway. Mm, can't pick it up. I think it says something about no copy. No coffee. No, uh, no walls, okay. Can understand that sentiment. Another park car, nothing else to do here, so I'm guessing just waiting time. But this game really looks beautiful so far. This official, like from other people. Oh, well, that's a sphere. I mean, stuff. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Probably don't, because I'm not very Korean. If I said this, astronauts or Olympians. Yeah, not gonna hold long that thing. Soon you're gonna get homeless people to work here in a few years. Hmm, can't open that. People working in there. Good, do your job. Just 15 million years until Gladys kills you all. Yeah. Ha! Elevators. Oh wow. Great. Okay, so the stairs aren't ready. People working here. So they all look the same, by the way. Oh, so these pictures look cool. cool. One of the Jerusalem I just got off the internet. Huh. I think I'm. Yeah, I can't run. You are right. It's a problem game. I can't run. I'm, I'm not gonna go back. Let's go in the elevator. 
That's a bit loud. M minus zero and zero. What? Okay. I guess that. So yeah. Apparently this game takes place in old aperture. Looks great so far. We're going down into the test chambers. I guess we'll set test sub test sub blah. I guess we'll test subject. Hey, yeah. We're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's yeah, a bit too much. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, wow. Thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the your fired stamp. Great. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. With what? Oh, right, the enrichment sphere. He thinks it's uh, hanging in the air. And they're building it there. Wow. Black Mesa. Ha! Right. In the background of these. Yeah. Cave is kind of an asshole. 1950. Yeah. Short time vault? Hmm. Seems it sounds interesting. And this elevator weight is taking forever. Tino looks great though. People going to work, everything. I, I can certainly understand why it took so long to finish this game. So far I haven't even played any test yet and it looks still looks amazing. Do dum 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 Oh Elevator I think I Is it the place where we No I'll tell you a bit more This test should be real easy for you though What kind of test one of the aperture science innovators short term realization volts and lie in a bed You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly Oh line about hibernation Few minutes. I guess it's gonna be like a long time, right? <laughs> oh, I guess it's gonna be like go really wrong if we're gonna like trap in there for years. So this game doesn't take place in old episode, and we're just gonna get catapulted straight to the time of shell and stuff, or I don't know. Vault doors, security dome, and loading screen again. Okay, so far it, the premise sounds interesting. We're gonna get lowered into the thing, and once again, if it's a noise you that I'm talking so quietly, I, even though I should be making this myself sound louder in the editing so, process. As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an aperture science. Next part will be more because I'm not recording at night then. Great. Hmm, crazy Harry. Yeah, sounds very safe, Cave. I'm trust you. Uh, Cave Johnson, they drew new pictures of him. Abstract science innovators. I can go everywhere, seriously? Hmm. Here's a testing shaft with old turrets. Uh, da, da, da. 
food facts. I don't know. I'm not gonna read it, everything. Just gonna look around a bit. I think that's the lines that I'm supposed to follow, so I'm waiting. Toilets are closed. Just more secretary stuff. Blah blah blah. I don't know. Exploring is fun, and I don't know what to do. Why is every toilet closed in this game? Are the clocks functioning? I, th I really think the clocks are functioning now. How late is there? Uh, 11... Wait, is it? No, it's not coming from real time. Even though it's night where I am. Where I am, where I am at the moment. I think I'm supposed to go there and I see turret slides, so... I'm just gonna go up. Up, up the stairs, in the salt mine, testing facility. Best of science coming. Yeah, that's the great build of model 2. Uh, that's just bigger texture from model 2. Uh, I can't go there. Working space. Apparently, I have to go to the place with the turrets. Okay, no allergies, blah blah blah. Of course, everyone's allergic to antimatter. To not be allergic to antimatter, you you would have to be consisting out of matter. In which case, everything else, you would be allergic to everything else, because literally, if you touch it, you explode. Even air. And probably take the whole earth with you. Uh, not the whole earth, just a big chunk of it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go through the turret room. Don't worry, those turrets won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Gary likes me. Really? Are you sure they're not gonna kill me if I... Can I walk through here? No. So, I have nowhere else to go, so... I guess it's the only option. Hmm, okay. This is the docking station G number three. Oh, one of the contain. We're gonna put get put away for a really, really long time, aren't we? And a primitive sleeping chamber. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the best ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Okay. I'm don't know sh I'm not sure how long I will be asleep so but okay. Good night. Cutscene. Yes, so I am mal. I always guess that. Or at least I'm yeah, I am mal. It's probably so is mal, of course I'm mal. Huh. First on perspective. A first person. Good night. So Oh yeah, I got just asleep and awake a really really long time later I guess or just the next minute I, I'm not really sure at the moment Ooh, awakening it doesn't sound that good what's happening so I guess we have to be asleep for quite some time if was just some random other alarms, but I... Apture! Oh, sorry, we're in, in the newer Apture, a few years later. Okay, so not as long as I thought, but still a freaking long time. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Can you hear me? Oh, Extended okay. utilization. What? We got shot, okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out How going how am I going out there? This chamber is locked. Or at least the door is broken. I can't get out. Seriously? Okay. That looks safe. Totally gonna toss it well, eh? Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long. 
long pole boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long pole boots. Yeah. That was easier to think of than I thought. It's been a really freaking long time, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, I, I can just jump down. I have to boots. Uh, da -da. So I guess it's been freaking long. But not as long as I thought it would be. Is it active now? Well, isn't firing. So I guess. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations. You get the Old reliable. Double the experiments for you. So I guess they're gonna try to get me out of here, and that's an old prototype of the portable. Um. What's called? Yeah, puddle. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna get it. Old puddle gun. Prototype. So that looks cool. So I guess we're gonna be at some point in the future now. Few years. Yeah, totally not. Uh, Yeah, totally it. Okay, I'm ignoring it, even though it's probably nuclear fusion stuff. It's not supposed to happen. So I guess I'm gonna look for a portal surface. Uh, there's one. Good. Working just as an old portal gun? Okay, get in there. Cave shot. Yeah, definitely. That's the... From the 2000 chambers. We've been quite at sea for a long time, haven't we? What's that? Is gas leaking? Doors not opening? Portal sh stuff? Guess I'm gonna have to walk out of here. Go there. Hmm. <laughs> Been stuck here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. What was that? I'm not really sure. Welcome to Aperture. With a science here, like about thirty, sixty dollars is <laughs> yeah, definitely been some time. I'm from credit. Uh, I know I've been asleep for probably f over fifty to sixty years. I don't know why I'm waking up right now. Probably because whatever this person has saved me. Yeah, right. Not believing you. Right, so You're doing a piss poor job. Yeah, I'm not believing you. And you're a really, really bad liar. I wonder if this is an AI talking to me right now. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, deactivated. Mmm. Probably not. Pick it up. Not doing much. Can't get out here. Um, yeah, what am I supposed to so do here? Can't grab that. I don't know. What am I supposed to be doing here? I don't know. Is it? Ooh, yep, yep, yep. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. Oh wait, there's a lever that I didn't see that one. Uh, da -da. I think I'm gonna make the first part half an hour. Okay, now we're talking. What am I supposed to be doing with this though? I'm not really sure. Blue. Okay, remember blue. Uh, something about launching myself out the door. So I'm guessing I have to go up here. And do some crazy shit. I don't know. Uh, stuff in the way. I don't really appreciate how this is going for me. Because I'm totally stuck now. And I don't know what to do. And I hate the filming when stuff like this happens. Uh, 
I can't get in there. What am I supposed to do in here? Really though, I don't know. Oh, so I'm guessing. Yeah, something. I have to make a pathway. And yeah, okay, good. Somewhere where I can find a running place or something where I can fall down into. Probably be running because I just just got orange gel. No, nothing here. Hmm. Let's see, I can't see anything where I can launch myself up or I'm just stupid and everyone's screaming at me right now because I'm doing things stupidly and completely wrong. You never know though. Hmm. Really, so where I'm supposed to be? Oh! How could I have missed that? Seriously, so how could I have missed that? Good, 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 good. The blue one must be up there. I have to go up there, don't I? Yeah. Launch myself out. First blood ending soon. And can talk louder in the next part because I'm not freaking talking when everybody else is asleep, so can look forward to that. And jump, I guess. Wow. Yeah. A bit. Little time sleeping. Nineteen sixty one, okay at least you'll be really bad liar, especially when you're overall signs that tell that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally completely new. Get through it and get to the first new. testing sphere. Fifty I'll years old new. Now I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. What? We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and install one where people needed to go through. Wow. That's very very good idea. I came from here, so of course I can do. But that's an emancipation good idea. Probably was Cave's idea though. Emancipate your homeless people. Sounds like him, asshole. Um where am I supposed to be going? I'm stuck again, am I? I should have just followed the sign. Then again, the door didn't open, so I don't know what to do. Or I have to go there. Probably have to go there. Completely missed that. Welcome to Aperture. 60 bucks. Awesome personal only. So I guess I'm gonna die when I get in there. So... Can I quick save? Save. Game, safe. I'm guessing I'm gonna die when I'm going there, but I'm trying it anyway. And I'm dead. Okay, great. Yeah. Should have seen that coming. And did see that coming, and then did it anyway. Okay. <sighs> First test in the series, and it's because it's stupid. And this is laser field or whatever. I've got some way to go around this. Uh, see, uh, some. Don't see anything. Just the portal, portal, portal surface. Oh. If you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So remember, the one in here is good. All others bad. Okay. Yeah. Great. Oh, is that thing again? These switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Yeah. New test. I already need whatever. Why doesn't this? Oh, right. I turned off the. Yeah, I turned. <laughs> Probably should turn the power back on. And go to the portal itself. It's all there. Remember, you can always turn the power on. Here. Not everywhere else. Okay. 
So I'm guessing I'm just gonna go make a puddle there, then, and voila, I'm in. Just gonna open that. Good. Giant vault door opening, like, that's thing, seal number one. Da 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 See this water over there. Ah. Ah. There's actually something big behind it. Wow. I'm very surprised. No, really, I'm very surprised. I expect it's like some tiny door like in Portal 2. Yeah. How am I supposed to... Um... Get... Down there? Uh, is there a portal surface anywhere inside? Ah, here. Good. So yeah, this is, I guess, where I leave up part one. So this is... So I guess see you guys next time in the next part of my Let's Play series of this. Where I'm gonna talk louder. Because I don't have to worry about freaking people sleeping everywhere. Because it's nearly midnight. Yeah. Goodbye. See you guys next time. Hope you have fun.